Since the days of John Adams, second president of the United States, the Marine Band has been known as the President's Own. As leader of that band, it was Sousa's privilege to serve under no fewer than five chief executives. Rutherford B. Hayes, James A. Garfield, Chester Arthur, Grover Cleveland, and Benjamin Harrison. Fine party you have. Sure beats anything you see out in my neck of the woods. Oh, say, have you had a chance to think over that postmaster business we were talking about last week, Mr. President? Not yet, sir. But I You I couldn't hope. pick a better man for the job. He votes right every time. And he's got a heap of kinfolk that votes too. Oh, say it. Excuse me, Mr. Sousa. Yes? The president wonders if the band could play something a little more lively tonight. Why, of course, we'll be delighted. Thank you. I was under the impression he preferred chamber music. Oh, he does as a rule, but there's so many long-winded office seekers here tonight. I understand. To tell the president we'll do what we can to alleviate the situation. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, number 11. Drums, trombones, cymbals, beautiful. Telling me what that tune is? It's Mr. Sousa's latest ballad. Ballad? Dedicated to the Marine Corps and entitled Semper Fidelis, Always Faithful. Well, it's just wonderful. Tell him he saved the day. <laughs> 